Uh, yes, I'm John Clark. I'm the Web 2 publisher for the Institute of Physics and a teaching and learning coach. And it, with the web role, it means I look after our Talk Physics website. This was a suggestion that came from the Talk Physics website. This is a piece of commercial carpet cover plate. Um, all I care about is the fact it's a thin and relatively bendable piece of aluminium with two convenient tracks running down the middle of it. Uh, cheap aluminium shelving uprights can do a similar job if it's thin enough aluminium. So all I did was take one of these, bend a curve up on one end, and then bend it so it had a little hump in there. So that's, oops. Um, so this is nice and level. There's a little bump and a dip, and then that's it. So now, of course, I need a volunteer uh, victim. You're sitting at the end of a row. Could you help me out? <laughs> Brilliant. So this is based on an old um, funfair thing, if you stand at that side. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd love you to do is to roll that marble, if you come around a little more to your, around to that way, if you can roll that marble so that it ends there. All right? It's not impossible. It is hard, but it's not impossible. Okay. Almost, almost. Go on. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you'd like more goes, you're welcome, but uh, otherwise we... Um... Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Thank you very much. Right. So uh, as a fun, as a fairground... Uh, you know, as a challenge, it's done with two larger rails and a bowling ball. You know, you do it with something hefty, but this is the cheap, low tech. You can carry it on the 170 bus on the way to Liverpool version. Um, the fun is why it's difficult. Think about the physics of why the speed had to be just right. There's a lot going on in there, which is really good fun. Uh, you know, well, I shall uh, leave you to ponder, but if you think about the lowest possible kinetic energy it can have, or kinetic energy in its kinetic store associated with the ball. The, uh, the, um, the lowest amount of kinetic energy available to get it over that bump, but the maximum kinetic energy it can possibly have, so that when it returns to the top of the bump, it does not have sufficient to get over the top. It's a lovely energy problem. Okay? Anyway, thank you.